hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel the legendary outlier at the end of this video if you think it's really helpful please make sure that you share this video across your uh, corporate circle or whoever is needy and uh, don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel so i'll get motivation to make such videos so in this video i'll be showing how to detect a car number plate out of an image and crop that number plate and use that cropped image number plate as an input to PyTesseract package if someone is not aware about a PyTesseract package and how to use it to extract a string out of a image then make sure you check my uh, previous video which contains uh, how to extract text out of image so you can refer to that so in this video I'll be uh, I'll be showing this thing so let's just get started without wasting much time so in this uh, video I'll be using this uh, image car image so out of this image I have to crop this image 01 EV8866 out of this image by using OpenCV and uh, by doing some uh, pre-processing on this image and after that just crop that much image and use PyTesseract package for that so let's just start walk through through this uh, code so yeah so these are the three packages that we will we'll be using um, for this code uh, first one is CV2 which is open CV package this is I am utility package we will be using this package to resize the image and uh, last one is PyTesseract package which is the main package which will convert the string into which will convert sorry which will convert image into string so this will be the some standard command so you can uh, why I am writing this you can refer to my previous video so this will be with uh, my uh, original image so I'll be reading this eight image eight dot jpg file and I'm storing it in image file so on top of that uh, image file I am resizing it and changing the uh, width to, to 500 just to make uh, sure everything is standardized whatever the input image is that so I'm showing this image uh, uh, this will be the one pop-up image so it will wait for my key to press and then uh, another image will get pop pop up so on top of this original image we are uh, doing some pre-processing steps like making it to grayscale so that uh, will reduce the number of channels uh, which will be easy to handle uh, that image and on top of that grayscale image will be uh, doing some uh, noise reduction and all these techniques so we'll uh, go. so I'm here I am converting uh, colored image into grayscale image so this will be the uh, gray image and I'll show I'm showing that as output at the uh, once we uh, run this code so run this code will uh, see each step output how exactly the pre-processing is happening so on top of that I'm uh, removing the noise and making image much smoother so that uh, I'm removing the sharpness so that it will be easy to understand uh, all the different parts of image and uh, so after doing pre-processing I'm passing grayscale image here as an input on top of that I'll, uh, I'm passing some of the parameters which are we c you can play with this parameter and you can have a look so this is like a very basic thing so quickly I'll show you how this will work suppose this is the original image and you are doing the averaging or the smoothing the image so you basically you are removing all this sharpness of the image <coughs> so this is the one thing after that you are finding out the edges of the image so suppose this is your input image so this will be your edge of the image so for edges yeah this will be the good example so this is the original image or the grayscale image as input and uh, after using that gray uh, 
canny age uh, detection uh, function from OpenCV you will be getting this as output so on top of that uh, we'll be applying uh, how to detect uh, contours mm -hmm. so after uh, finding out the canny age detection I'll be showing how exactly it will look on our image so after that uh, there is a find uh, contour function so basically this will find out different uh, continuous shapes in image so there are lots of uh, videos are available on YouTube you can search for it and it's very easy so after uh, so basically this will giving you uh, two this thing uh, as output uh, variables one is a uh, contours how many different contours are there and on top of that uh, and after that new is nothing but the hierarchy of the contours suppose there is a coin and inside that coin suppose some square is there so, so how exactly the coin is and what is the contour for that and the square so it will show you the hierarchy as well so after that so there is a draw contour function which will show you how exactly con contour is so for that we are using this uh, line of code so after that I'll be showing how to um, how exactly contours are getting uh, draw on our image so on top of that image so there will be very small small contours, contours which we are not interested so just to ignore that and consider only top 30 contours so basically I am uh, calculating the area of each contour suppose there is a circle so it will calculate the area of that circle and uh, based on that I'll be sorting it out uh, in the reverse order so maximum to minimum and uh, based on that I'll be selecting only top 30 con contours which I am interested in so I'll be uh, using that and I'm selecting only top 30 con contours and after that I'm creating one uh, number plate as a string uh, a list so this will store our number plates uh, suppose there are two different number plates in uh, in the image so it will store all two number plates as output in that particular variable so just to print out how exactly those uh, top 30 count, uh, contours will look like so for that I am doing this part so why exactly I am copying this image suppose um, so copying image is nothing but we are creating same uh, image in different memory location suppose you are doing some suppose if you do some operation on image so it will be there on the original image itself so uh, the last output image will be a bit clumsy so it will not look good so basically it's changing the original image so that's why I'm creating a copy of that and I'm processing on top of that so on top of that I'm drawing top 30 con contours and after that I'm running this loop for each contours so out of that top 30 contours which contours to use uh, so I'm so basically for this I'm using this uh, I'm not using this count variable so so for now you can ignore it and uh, I'm using this IDX uh, uh, variable to store the variable as that uh, to store the cropped image in certain location so I'll show you that so on uh, suppose there are three um, 30 different counters so on top of each counter uh, I'm processing this thing so that's why it's in for loop so basically I'm uh, calculating the perimeter of uh, uh, each contour and uh, so this will be the input to my approx polydp uh, function so basically the output of this function will be uh, how many edges are there for each counter suppose that is a circle counter the edge would be zero and suppose that is a rectangular or, or square counter 
then uh, that will be the that will be the uh, four output so number of sides suppose uh, yeah basically start and end so we are looking at end which is equal to equal to four that means it has the four corners so suppose and ideally our uh, number plate should be in the rectangle shape so that's why I'm using four so after using this four I'm uh, storing that particular uh, contour into the number plate so that's our main region of interest so after doing that there is a bordering rectangular function so because it's getting passed through the um, this if condition that means it has four sides so I'm uh, finding out the x y and width and height variable of that uh, contour so this will give you uh, the x x y coordinates and width height so after that I'm you uh, doing the cropping of the original image by passing this uh, x and y coordinates so how exactly this thing is so for this yeah suppose this is your number plate so this will be the origin x y point and we are taking uh, all the points which are lying between x to x plus w w is nothing but the width and same for y y to y plus height so this is the same thing is happening so once the new image is created so this will be our cropped image so uh, I'm storing that cropped image into the crop under the cropped image text file so initially it will be 7 so right now 7.png is not available so once we run this code so we'll <coughs> get to know uh, I mean the 7.png will appear there so this is it so once the cropped image is created so I'm showing the final image with the uh, bordered uh, contour the number plate will get highlighted so detection of number plate this will be that and um, on top of uh, so I'm using that C7, 7 7.png file which is not there so it will get created and I'm using that file as my input to so I'll, I'll be showing how exactly that cropped file will look and on top of that uh, cropped file I'll be using the image to string uh, function of PyTesseract and I'm printing the what is the number that's there and it will wait for my key so without wasting further time let's just run this code yeah so this is my original image so on top of that I am converting this thing as to the grayscale convert, uh, image so once uh, on by using that grayscale image as an input so I am doing uh, image smoothening if you look at these two images there is smoothness in uh, this uh, filtered image so after doing this I am applying any age detection function so basically it's detecting the, the age ages of uh, images so on top of that so these are the con uh, contours that that are getting uh, identified so if you look at uh, these contour the front mirror back mirror even the number plate is getting considered as contour if you look at so this, uh, these are the top 30 contours based on the area so if you look at this thing so this is the higher area even this is higher area so we'll be passing these 30 into our uh, conditional function where it's it will be detecting the uh, looking at the perimeter and all these things and based on that suppose it has four sides then only it will get considered the uh, this thing so this will this logic will get failed at some point of time but this is like simplest way to do the number plate detection so once the number plate is detected I'm storing that image as 7 dot uh, this file so if you look here so right now it's not at uh, 
done so once i'm done with all the code so here it will appear 7.0ng so i'm passing this cropped image as input to as input to my pytesseract and after passing that so everything is getting closed if you look at the car number is mh 01 ev double eight double six which is same as this so some noise is still there so on top of so right now i'm passing the exact cropped image as the input so on top of that so this will be the original image so if you look at this thing so this will be the original image so on top of that you, you can do because of this ind symbol it's uh, uh, some symbol is getting populated here so uh, so on top of that this thing you can uh, do further processing pre-processing on the image and make sure you'll uh, process it correctly so that uh, uh, PyTesseract will give correct output so this is the one image uh, and maybe I'll show you the other image as well so there is a 9 dot jpg image is there so so if you look at this is the original file the number is mh14 fq f0911 so this is grayscale and this is smoothening and this age detection if you look at this because of this shadow so it's getting uh, age is getting detected so after that different counters all the counters and top 30 counters but we are only interested in the rectangle counters so in this this will be my original image and if you look here because of some blurness in the image it's getting m as a w here so for that if you go here it's still there so let me just press enter so this is done so if you go here close this image and open this again I'm not sure why this is not getting populated if you run this again not sure why we can't see that image but basically this is getting so we are looking at this thing so if we so this is the input and this is the output oh that's correct image only sorry my bad And this is the correct image so see if you look at this m it looks like h so that's why it, uh, h or w so because of this it's wrongly getting um, identified so you can do certain uh, pre-processing and use that thing or maybe suppose for one of the image i'll show you how to do that suppose this is the input and sometimes what will happen it uh, by tesseract would not un understand the input so it will give like a blank output so if you look at here it's clearly getting identified as baleno as a number plate but so here it's coming as a blank suppose you do some pre-processing suppose instead of uh, original image i'm cropping the grayscale image which is processed by uh, two uh, few steps like filtering and all this thing so based on that I'm I'm cropping that image so if I run this code so right now I'm cropping the grayscale image so my this is grayscale image if you look at the final output it's showing as baleno because right now he's getting identified so same like this you can do some pre-processing on uh, the cropped image and you can have fun with that so this is the simple code 
make sure you like this video if you think it's really interesting it will motivate me to keep going further and uh, upload different exciting videos thank you for watching this video